A bride was reading her vows when she suddenly told her groom's ex to stand up. When Katie Hill married Jeremy Musser, she didn't just gain a husband, she got steps on Landon into the bargain too. And her union came not only with a weight of responsibility that comes with being a parental figure, but also a lot of expectation from Landon's biological mom, Casey. What's more, Katie and Casey's relationship had sometimes been a difficult one. So when the bride chose to make an unexpected statement on her wedding day, the whole room may very well have been in shock. Katie remembers the exact date on which she met the man who would eventually become her husband. It was April 17th, 2013, and by all accounts, the pair hit it off from the onset. Six weeks into their blossoming relationship, though, Jeremy would drop a bombshell. During a text exchange between the couple, Jeremy admitted to Katie that he had a child. In response, Katie asked, how old is it, two? But the reply she would receive left her stunned. It turned out that Jeremy's son Landon had been born on April 28th. That is, 11 days after the couple had met. I sat in my apartment in utter shock, Katie Letter posted on Facebook about the reveal. A million questions going through my mind. I'd known him for six weeks and his son was three weeks? Why didn't he tell me? How do I react? I stayed calm and said, OMG, that's so exciting. The excitement was a ruse to hide the way that she was really feeling, however. On Facebook, Katie continued, I never let on that I was constantly questioning myself panicking or overthinking. I constantly asked, what am I missing? What else don't I know? I couldn't trust everything he said. Despite Katie's reservations about the relationship and the difficulties that followed though, she stuck with her new boyfriend. But there would be yet another hurdle to overcome, Jeremy's ex. Yup, Katie admitted on Facebook, Landon's mom Casey and I hated each other. Katie realized that she didn't want to fight with anyone anymore. And so, just as Landon was about to turn one, she connected with his mom. Then, unusually, a unique bond began to grow between the pair, with Katie and Casey even regularly sharing mommy dates together. Katie's friendship with Landon's mom grew ever stronger, even after Casey wed a man called Tyler with whom Landon's dad struggled to get on. Nonetheless, when Katie and Jeremy's own wedding came around, Katie wanted both Casey and Tyler involved in her big day. They were, after all, Landon's family, too. No one else had likely anticipated just how much Katie wanted Casey and Tyler to be in her wedding. Indeed, the bride hadn't told anyone what she had planned for that day. All was revealed during Katie and Jeremy's ceremony, however, and it all began before the couple began exchanging the vows when the officiant addressed Landon's mom and her husband and asked them to stand up. Katie then turned to face her one-time nemesis, but instead of causing a scene that would have been uncomfortable for everyone, she started to recite a speech that she had prepared for her groom's ex. The bride began, First, I want to thank you for accepting me as your friend and allowing me to be a part of Landon's life. She continued, I promise to be an amazing mother to your son. I will guide, teach, and love him every single day. I promise to respect, work, listen, and communicate together as co-parents. I will love you guys no matter what comes our way. We're one family always. Seems like 24-year-old Katie had grown up a lot in four years. Indeed, it appears that she came to realize that Landon not only had both biological parents in his life, but he also had two step-parents who wanted what was best for him, too. They were all in this together, in fact. After addressing Casey and Tyler at the ceremony, Katie then turned to her stepson. To him, she said, Landon, I love you more than you will ever know. I've had the privilege of knowing you since the beginning. I've loved watching you grow, and I will for the rest of my life. I'm so happy that I now officially get to be your bonus mommy. Katie continued to Landon, I promise to protect you, hold you when you need it, and clean all the boo-boos you ever get. And I promise to stand by you, listen to you, and love you every day. I promise to love Daddy with all my heart. I promise to be a best friend to Mommy and your Daddy Tyler. She concluded by saying, We will be one big family that I promise you will have for the rest of your life. I love you so much. And on Facebook, the bride would explain her heartwarming surprise by writing that she wasn't just going into a marriage with Jeremy and so only needed his trust and respect. She felt, in fact, that she needed Casey and Tyler's trust and respect, too. Katie didn't intend to let her big day pass without letting Casey know just how important she was. The bride gifted her a sunflower bracelet similar to those given to her bridesmaids, for example. And when the couple handed roses to their own mothers as part of their wedding ceremony, Landon also got to pass a flower to his mom. What became of the feuding dads? Well, sometime before the wedding, Jeremy had got in touch with Tyler. 
and that move stunned Jeremy's bride to be, not least because the groom seemed to be trying to mend his fractious relationship with Landon's stepfather. Kitty explained the message on Facebook saying, in short, Jeremy thanked Tyler for raising Landon and being the dad he wasn't. He told him that he wasn't only his daddy, but they both were. And then he asked Tyler to go out for a drink. Tyler respected his message, but they never went for that drink. When Katie and Jeremy's wedding day was drawing to a close, and Jeremy and Tyler were bidding each other farewell, Landon's stepdad suddenly spoke up. Specifically, he said to the man he'd once shunned, After all this is over, let's go get that drink. It was a poignant moment for Jeremy, and one he realized would never have happened without the resilience of his wife and the mother of his child. On Facebook, Katie also had words of advice for those who want to follow in her co-parenting lane. She explained, It takes true understanding and support from the ones who love you, but it's possible to get along, communicate, and give the same respect on both sides for your child. Go against the norm. Be that change.